passing on information, however tragic, is something that has defined Saul Rosenkranz's life. A note passed through the crack in a factory floorboard was how he learned his family was taken to a concentration camp. Trains are rolling by, and Pete, those people are throwing out notes by the thousands. Little kids are running back and forth, picking up those notes and pushing it into our factory through the fence. About 10 days after we were detained, uh, I get a note from my family who was on one of those trains. As a young Jewish man in Poland, Saul did everything he could to survive after Nazis invaded his town. Today, at the age of 95, he shares his experience with school children visiting the Museum of Jewish Heritage. For the last 15 years, Saul has volunteered here, passing on his story of survival. I went through six concentration camps, two in Poland, two in Germany, two more in Czechoslovakia, where I was liberated by the Russians. In 1946, when World War II was over, he came to New York. Telling his story is not easy, but the response he gets keeps him going. It is painful. Many times I break down. Yeah, I still break down 70 years later. Yeah, but it has to be told. You see the faces, you see all the groups go by, and I'm still standing telling my story, and they go by. In a short time, let's say probably about 10 years from now, at the most, maybe 15 at the most, you know, there's going to be people like me to tell the story. To be able to make that connection between those large, graphic, horrifying pictures and this man who was standing before them, I think really um, was, was very moving to them, very emotional. Not only is it important for our students to see him as a Holocaust survivor, but to see him as a positive role model in general. He's full of compassion and full of life, and he, he shares that with everybody that he meets. And so, for passing on a piece of history through his story of survival, Saul Rosenkrantz is our New Yorker of the Week. John Schumo, New York One.